Hey guys, it's Laughing Lasagna. I am back here at Gabby Ghost Pinball, and this place always a fun place to check out. Uh, we'll be talking with the Doc Mac again with the pinball, but here's the cool thing too: he has secrets and histories to reveal because I mean it's it's Doc, right? Everybody likes Doc. So here's the cool thing, guys: is also there's so many machines. This here is new since we were here last time, and it's called. Medieval Madness. We'll probably be trying this game out later on. We'll see if it's a high score. You'll be seeing all of our, our, our scores later on in the video and or on Discord. Check out, again, Galaxy Ghost Arcade. They have a combo where you can do the pinball and the arcade for $30. It's all day you can play, guys. I mean, how cool is that? So, in about a couple minutes, we'll have Doc show up here. We'll do another quick little thing with him. And we'll be rocking and rolling. Uh, we might do a stream. We're not sure yet, quite yet, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed Monday Madness. It is also your original Wacky Wednesday right now, so hope you guys have fun. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Peace and love. Doc, again, welcome back in. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, like I say, Medieval Madness, it's a cool machine. I Great. Mean, it looks sick. <laughs> uh, we went with the LE on it. We had uh, the Chicago Gaming re-release of Monster Bash, and uh, it was on our list for a long time to get the LE of Medieval Madness, and they're so hard to find. Yeah. Uh, and the price on them is pretty up there, so we were very happy when we got this one at the price we did. That is sweet. And you said you had a couple of new pinball machines you brought in then? Yeah, our, our newest, newest being uh, Medieval Madness, um, and then before that, uh, we had uh, Godzilla was our, our okay. latest. Okay, which that, we played that last year, and that was, again, I enjoy the rumble effect. I love the noise, the music. I mean, it, nostalgia, you know, hardcore. Absolutely. It was Godzilla Personally, a huge Godzilla fan, and even without that IP, it is a phenomenal machine. Mm -hmm. uh, it, no wonder why it is considered one of the best pins of all time, even for being out such a short period of time. And you being a huge Godzilla fanatic, I'm a huge Godzilla fanatic, so the thing is, okay, so you're saying you want to, uh, we're on our walk back up here, hope you don't mind revealing the secret, museum. Yes. So, Godzilla, possibly? No, so we have <laughs> we have our uh, a company called Galaxy Ghost Kaiju Kobo. Okay, which um, we get the license for Godzilla to produce uh, resin model kits. Okay, that we sell out in Japan. So we've worked with Toho on that, which is amazing. But we try to keep everything pretty separate. Uh, okay, so we have a separate Galaxy Ghost Kaiju Kobo building, which is actually right next door to Pinball. But we don't really blend the two too often. Okay. Uh, occasionally when we do shows, um, we bring with, uh, we have the four Namco Redemption games uh, that they put out in the 90s. Godzilla Wars Jr. Uh, and then um, two others in that series. And then there's this huge walking Godzilla machine that, as far as I know, we're the only one in the U.S. to have one. So it's, uh, but usually we only bring that to shows. So right. it's one of those things that probably wouldn't make it into the museum itself. Right. Um, that would be in the Kaiju Kobo building. Okay. The, the museum would be more for uh, video game and pinball history. Okay. Um, we've got so many friends within the industry that have been so generous to us and gifted us many, many uh, items that are very museum worthy, such as code books from games, um, hard drives, props from games, sketch artwork. So it would it would be great to have a place to showcase that stuff and show off those those things that are just sitting in the vaults right now. Okay. Now last year we had uh, Tom show us some of the really cool stuff, and we're now we're we only using a laptop right now, so it's kind of be kind of hard to move it when you're around. But the thing is, all the, all the machines here. Which one is your favorite? That, that is so <laughs> fun. Fun house uh, has a, that was the first pin I ever purchased. Okay. Um, I had played so much with that. That has so much history to me because 
it was a big connecting point between me and my brother. Uh, we would go play Fun House all the time. Um, but Creature from the Black Lagoon is a phenomenal game. Monster Bash, absolutely love Monster Bash. But Godzilla, uh, if if I'm here just getting in one or two quick games, I'm I'm usually on Godzilla right away. Okay. Um, and the thing is, also, what is your oldest machine in on the show showroom? Oh, uh, that would probably be Fireball. Fireball. Uh, so Fireball, it's uh, the original Fireball. Um, it's with pinball. There's so many people that focus on the newest Stearns and Jersey Jack and. All, all the companies that are putting out uh, American, all all these games that are coming out, um, it's we try to have a good range of games. Uh, while we do have some newer Sterns, uh, the collection overall is honestly a little more selective and, in a sense, more selfish because okay. it, it's mostly just the stuff that I really enjoy. <laughs> right. Like it's it's a lot of monster theme stuff. Bram Stoker's Dracula, Aliens, Predator. So that's that's really one of the big things that it takes to get in the, in the here. Okay, so it's kind of your your obsession of certain items is what comes into your domain. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely my appeal and interest in the video side is much broader, and pins being so much more expensive, right? Uh, we ha- and so much more maintenance. We we've, we've got to be a little more selective. Right. Uh, so I, it, it's definitely a different creature than the, the video arcade. Okay. Um, and is there any plans in the future to expand on your pinball? We are. So one of the big goals is to, we always want to have it separated from the arcade just because integrated, they're very different. Um, but when we do the second and third floor at the arcade, we'll probably bring pinball over there. Okay. Uh, we've also been working on doing and planning out a console and land center. So basically just think the arcade, but with console games. So every console, uh, network computers for days, and we just want to have everything under one roof. Uh, the fleet three stories will allow us to do that. Oh, yeah. And it will basically just have the ultimate gaming experience at that point. And then in the future, you should, you know, invest in a restaurant, you know. <laughs> so, Speaking of which. <laughs> so it's, we are looking at diversifying. We are, there's a local restaurant that might be looking to uh, sell. So we, we're we working on it. There's, <laughs> there's a few things. Well, we've got the collection of arcade games and pinball and Godzilla right. models. Um we are looking at also expanding the collection of businesses. Right. Uh, as we've got the mechanic shop, Galping Ghost Garage, Galping Ghost Reproductions, Galping Ghost Productions, Galping Ghost Gamma. Um, there's still more to do. Okay. So everything that we really add to the Galping Ghost brand really kind of it, it helps itself. It's very symbiotic to uh, all that to continue to grow. Okay. So here's the other thing too is it's like so. What is the one thing that you push for the pinball? So pinball, we don't have um, the same selection that we do have at the arcade. Uh, right. It's 47 games. Um, but the games that we do have are some very, very rare ones. Right. Uh, games like Joust and Defender. Um, it, it's, it's a lot of obscure stuff mixed with some of the most favorite games of players from all time twilight zone adam's family so it's a really good mix okay and it's it not being a lot of the arcades have their pinballs on paper play dollar two dollars a play or whatever and it's it's uh, same thing free play so you can be here all day so that and that, that's very cool because the thing is again like you're saying a lot of people just you're paying to pay to play it and it's like you know after a while you're going oh man Three battles down already, but here you're going. I want the high score, and I want to pay extra for the high score chance. Well, and you get to learn the game so much deeper. Right. Um, the games are so. It's all about learning the shots. Yeah. So if you've got the tension of like, well, I just put a dollar into this machine, you have a bad ball. It's like, well, that's that's thirty three cents down the down the drain right, right. there. So <laughs> it adds up really quick. And here you get hours and hours and hours. You can hone your skills and get better and better. 
speaking of honing skills, here's I, I want a little hint from you of how to do this. Me and my buddy here, we have an issue where wherever we play the pinball, it just drops right in the middle. Constantly. How do you fix that in the game? So <laughs> it's nudging is really the secret okay. to it. You don't want to do it. Obviously, that's um, like a way to set the tilt off. Yeah. And there's some players that have are really have it dialed in where they can just kind of gently nudge the machine and it gives that ball a little bit of drip where it won't go straight down the center. Okay. Um, but it's really all about knowing the machine. And if something is constantly going right down the center, you might want to also kind of ask the tech, like, is, 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 is something coming off of a sling weird or it, it's, it's supposed to be, it happens, right? but sometimes it happens and it's not supposed to. So it, it gotcha. really just depends. Make sure the machine's maintenance are, are up to par. And I, I know I ain't that bad at pinball. So I kept asking myself, like, why is this happening? And so now I'm to you'll, give tips to you. So you'll, you'll see, uh, you can also check to see if the game is level. So like that's, that's usually a big cause of things like that, where the okay. game if it isn't level, it's not going to be playing right. Gotcha. And it, it really gets into the nuances of maintenance. So um, sometimes the games like Monster Bash, they're so, the tech is so solid that you can kind of, I think there's the, the slings, you can kind of control the power going to them, which will adjust where it's reflecting okay. the ball and everything. That is so cool. Um, so... Last little thing here. So when you're doing your pinball machines, right? But you said it's higher maintenance than the arcade. If the machine goes down, how much longer time do you put in a pinball machine than an arcade machine? Well, and it, it really depends. Like sometimes mechanically a game will fail from underneath and you've got a, a coils out or even the, the boards get the same problems where um, a wire harness will heat up and burn and then you've got to repin the whole thing. Okay. Uh, some of the maintenance is very easy. It'll just be like a rubber is, is broken. So you gotta take off whatever parts and just put a new one on, um, flipper maintenance, making sure that the rubbers on the flipper are, are not shredded and okay. in bad shape. So it's, there's a lot of minimal maintenance. Um, some of the projects between the two, they're, they're pretty similar. Like you're fixing a RAM chip will go bad or, okay. you know, or a wiring harness. So that that's kind of similar between both sides. But pinball, because you have so many moving parts and you're shooting a metal ball around hitting plastic, you're going right. to have stuff breaking. Awesome. So, again, guys, with Dot Mac, this place, again, is always nostalgia. The sound, the atmosphere you bring in. Congrats, dude. Thank like, you, man. Thank you so keep much. Keep it up. I appreciate um, it, man. Thank you. Have a laugh on live, guys. Love you guys. I'll see you guys next time with more videos. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you liked this, please leave a like, thumbs it up, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a laugh on life.